Hi, I'm Adrian Oliver with Remax Universal, and I'm here with one of my clients, Trisha Sample, and we're going to do um, a little bit of question and answer session, kind of give you an idea about what it's like to work with me as an agent. Um, Trisha, tell me a little bit about yourself and your background. Um, so this was going to be the third home that we had bought, okay. uh, the second home together. Okay. Uh, it was kind of scary for us because we had to move in a certain time frame, and so um, we just kind of wanted to find a realtor that could help us meet all of our goals and expectations. Okay. So what fears did you have about buying and selling? Because we did both. Yes, we did. So uh, the first fear, of course, was that time frame, right? Um, I wanted to make sure that we could sell the house close it and buy the new one and I didn't really want to find a lot of temporary home uh, housing in between so the timing had to be good um, the next thing was of course the budget <laughs> and finding um, what we needed within the budget and also we were very particular about our area um, you know there was a certain school that we wanted to attend so that really limited our options um, so that was what the biggest fear was. Are we going to find everything we need for the money that we have? Okay. Um, what process did you use to select me or for me to represent you? Um, so it was a word of mouth. Okay. Um, Lisa Cash, the mm -hmm. Mortgage Whisperer. <laughs> okay. So um, you, you found Lisa online? I did, yes. Okay. And then um, you talked to her about getting your pre-approval and then she recommended me. She did, right? yeah. Okay. Um, what was it that I did differently? Um, so I would say more like your strong points um, were that you were very good at communicating. The callbacks were right away. Um, if I had any questions or anything, everything was always addressed super fast. Okay. Um, I think also um, you were really easygoing. You know, we switched gears. <laughs> We went from building to buying, and you never once said, I don't think that's a good idea. Um, you were very supportive of whatever we wanted to do, and um, you were really the voice of reason when things kind of got hectic sometimes. Okay. So how did we handle the process for you? Mm. Like, um, so when, when we started the process, well, what do you feel like the steps were? What did, what did we do? Okay, so um, the first thing was is that we had to get the house sold. Okay. So you helped me get it staged properly. Uh, we got it all cleaned up. The pictures were taken, listed, and all of that. And then the next thing we did um, is we were starting the hunt for the new house and okay. what we were going to do there. We ended up building. Right. And so I didn't think that we were going to need a realtor, so I was worried about that. But I ended up learning that. A realtor, when you build, is it's necessary. It was great. Okay. So, um, so when you when you um, when you built, we you did a um, house. You, we sold your house, and then we bought you a new house. Tell me about the transition process, because I know that was one of your concerns. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't fun by any means, but you made it happen. Okay. Yeah. Um, all the timing, everything worked out perfect. Uh, and even more surprising, remember that was when Harvey blew through. Yeah. <laughs> so we were doing something difficult, and then we threw a hurricane on top of it, and we made it successfully. Yeah. We did. Yeah. We got very lucky. We did. The, the house was in good shape. We had very little, very minor repairs, no flooding, no, no nothing. Flooding. It was nice. Both homes were great. Right. Phew. So, Trisha, I know that you talked to me a little bit about how you didn't think you needed a realtor to build something new. Yes. What did you learn that made you that makes you feel like you were glad that you used your realtor when you built? Well, the first thing is, is that um, when you go to the design center, it's really easy to get carried away. And so you gave me the budget numbers and you kind of really guided me and said, I wouldn't spend over XYZ amount just so that the home price would stay affordable if we were to resell it we wouldn't lose and so I found that to be very helpful um, also you know dealing with the sales people at the home center it's not always fun <laughs> <laughs> and you did a great job you took care of all of those phone calls for me so I really appreciated that
Okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, so I know I'm going to ask you this question, and I know the answer to it, but I'm going to ask you anyways. So why would you recommend me? Well, I would recommend you because you're very professional. You're super knowledgeable. Um, you know, like I said, you the callbacks were quick. I could always reach you. Um, you rode along with my crazy. I mean, <laughs> you're resilient. <laughs> All right. Well, um, thank you so much for sitting down and talking with me and yeah. agreeing to do the video. I really appreciate it, and I hope that this helps me bring my business to the next level. Absolutely. All right. Anytime. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will um, see you all next time.